Alright boys, welcome back to another video, man. Today we're talking about the Houston Rockets, unfortunately for us all, but they have lost again, 19 straight, 110 to 96. Now, I don't want to overreact and say, like, blah, blah, blah. like, basically, to put it short and sweet, Cade Cunningham will be a Houston Rocket. I can tell you guys right now, I know that it's a little far-fetched, getting the number one pick is really slim, but... It's destiny, man. It's just inevitable to this point. The Houston Rockets, there's just something about this team where when they traded James Harden, everything was going to be all right. They were going to go out. They were going to tank at the number one pick. They were going to get a ton of picks. I mean, they're actually second within the next 10 years or seven years in draft capital behind the Thunder. And they're actually only like two out. So they could definitely pass them if they get something good for the Gerald Depot or if they get something good for John Wall. Now, the only guys I'm not trading are Christian Wood, Kevin Porter Jr. and Jay Sean Tate. Anyone else I'm willing to trade? I mean, anyone. To be honest with you, House, Nawaba, Macklemore. I don't really care, man. I'd like to keep Nawaba, but again, if there's any value for him, he's on an expiring deal, there's no guarantee he's returning, then I'm doing it. But, I mean, what am I going to say about the Rockets, man? We could go over the box score quickly. Oladipo, 7 of 18. Christian Wood had uh, 18 and 11. Played just 28 minutes. Oladipo did play 36, so he's basically running a marathon, not doing too much out there. Daniel House Jr., 34 minutes, 10 points. It's just a, a roster. Oh, yeah, excuse me. KJ Martin is another guy we I wouldn't trade. But other than that, man, like, the roster is just not very good. It's significantly going to change. And I'm going to be real. Like, John Wall had 21 and 7 tonight, 7 to 16, 29 minutes. He wasn't bad. Like, you could be a good team with John Wall as your point guard, but not on a 40 million. Like, if John Wall was playing in the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, that's 100% a different story. But John Wall making $40 million on this roster when his backup's making about $5 million a year, and he's not better. Like, Kim Moore Jr.'s not better than John Wall, but he can put up the same numbers. I mean, he doesn't have the leadership or the defense, but, I mean, Kevin Bourne Jr. was putting up, about, what, 20, what, 27 and, and 7 these past couple of games? Like, I'm, I'm fine with that, man. And also, you're a rebuilding team, but I don't even really want to talk about, like, the Rockets, to be honest with you, like, in the sense of, like, the roster. I want to talk about Kay Cunningham, man. Now, I did catch the game, of course, earlier. He didn't look that great, but the thing about Cade is he's just 18 years old, so you can let it slide. I mean, he's, he's literally just, he's not even old enough to drink a beer. Like, he's, he's 18 years old. He will he'll be 19 soon, but, like, I mean, Cade is, he's a shot-creating point guard, bro, and he, he's not even known for his shooting. Like, yeah, he's shooting 41% from three this season, but he's known for getting to the rim, man. He's not the fastest guard. He's not the quickness of, of a Zach Levine or something like that or the, above the rim, but... He basically is Luka Doncic with more athleticism. You guys can see he just rises up with the mid-range. I just have this feeling that the Rockets are going to draft him, man. And I know, again, I could just be saying this because he's the best player in the draft. He's projected to go number one. But there's just something about him where I feel like he's going to be just this next James Harden player for the Rockets, man. He has that type of potential because he's 6'8". I mean, James Harden is 6'5". I mean, he's three inches on Harden. He's young. And he's just, he can go out and get any shot, man. He can run an offense. He's a good passer. So him and Kevin Porter Jr., Christian Wood, and if they go out and sign John Collins or maybe they get like Aaron Gordon or something, I mean, you can see just right up the court, pull up for three. I mean, to be able to do that at 6'8 is just different, man. And I'm willing to make a bet, bro. I really am. Now, this will become something that I talk more about during the the lottery or like when we get closer to the draft like if the rockets actually continue to tank and this losing streak continues to like 23 or 24 and we actually become the worst team this is a bet that i'm willing to make and i'll tell you guys that right now if if the houston rockets draft k cunningham now they don't need to draft them at number one because maybe something happens like maybe k just doesn't show up in march madness and his, his draft stock goes down and maybe jalen green or maybe suggs or, or mobley go before him and the rockets get the second or the third pick i mean that's definitely possible so uh, it's not probable, but it can happen. But the bet is, guys, like, so if the Rockets draft K Cunningham, man, it could be, at, like I said, one through three, then I'm going to, I'm not going to shave my head, but I'm going to buzz my head because I don't want to go bald just because, I mean, that that's just not, like, you can't do that. I mean, at my age, I mean, I'm literally, I'm, I just had turned 22 and it's not like I'm balding or anything like that, but so I'm going to buzz my head, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave all my facial hair. So you guys know, I don't, obviously I don't have like a beard, but like, I've got, I've got a mustache, I've got a goatee, and I've got sideburns that are all coming in pretty soon. So by the time we actually get to the j j draft lottery or the draft, I mean, it'll probably be fully grown in. I mean, maybe even earlier, but I know this is really random. This, this is kind of a weird video, but, like, I'm just, I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained, man. I'm trying to just put out a content for you guys because um, I watched a few games. I watched the Nets first half. They almost came back. I watched some of the Bulls game. I watched that first half. But last night I watched a lot of games, and 
and stuff. But yeah, let me know if you guys' thoughts on the bet. If you want to see it, comment down below. If a lot of you guys are are saying that you want to see it, that it's like reasonable, then let me know. Um, another thing that was talked about is a 24-hour stream. Now, the thing about the 24-hour stream is that I don't think I could do that on my own. Like, I don't. What would I do? Like, because you guys think like I'd have to make meals. Like, because obviously I'm gonna have to make breakfast. I mean, breakfast is easy. You like, put a bagel or could have cereal, oatmeal. But like lunch and dinner and like, I mean dinner. Actually, I usually get dinner made for me. So um lunch i'd have to make but like again i guess i guess i could do it but let me know your guys thoughts on this i know this is just like me rambling on but it's just more of like a chill type of video man uh k cunningham is just i love watching him play i feel like he's gonna be one of the best players in the league in a couple of years and i'm just hoping the rockets can get him because this season man all these times that i sat through streams that i, I made videos and tried to keep everyone positive I, did, I just feel like i should be rewarded for it and have k cunningham now if he does get drafted by the rockets instantly we become one of the, the best young teams in the league with young i mean we already are one of the best young teams in the league in terms of draft picks and like christian wood and kevin jr but you add in k cunningham and we might be the most best young team in the league i mean because you look at the thunder right like they got shea and they got some pieces but like they don't have a, num a one two punch like they don't wouldn't kevin jr is better than most young dudes in the league you look at like jaron jackson jr and john moran i mean that that's debatable christian, christian wood and kevin jr is debatable to john and jaron jackson i mean obviously i'm taking john jaron jackson jr because they made the, they almost made the playoffs. I mean, they were, were in a playing game last year. But I'm just saying, like generally speaking, if Cade is drafted by the Rockets, I mean him and and Wood, because um, I don't know if you could say he'd be better than Kevin Porter Jr. off the rip because Kevin Porter Jr. is so good. But I I think you can. Like I mean, he's the number one pick. So uh, hopefully the Rockets get him. That's all I can say. Again, if they get the second, third, or the fourth pick, I'll still be happy because. Suggs, Green, Kaminga, Mobley, like, it, they could have a need for all of those guys. I mean, it's not like the Rockets have have this one position where it's like, okay, like, anything in that, that realm we're, we're just not interested in because if there's no power fours that are going top four, I mean, Kaminga's a three, Suggs is a one, Green's a two, Cade's a one, he could play the two, the three. Like, Cade could play probably four positions if you think about it. He could probably play, he could probably, no, he's not going to be center, but he could play one through four, small ball, like a small four, I mean, he could do it, but... Again, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to sound when I watch it back just because this was just, it was a video where I didn't even really talk about the Rockets, but I'm talking about the Rockets, Kay Cunningham, man. I just really hope they draft this guy, man. I feel like he's going to be this just up-and-coming superstar in the league. Again, I know he didn't have the greatest game today, but it's Cade, man. He's going to have up-and-down games. I mean, he's a team player. He doesn't care about his stats. He just cares about the win, but he could turn it on at any given time. You know, a couple of games ago, he had, what was it? I think he had like 20, was it 26 or something in the second half. So he's only averaging about 20, 21 a game. And he's not averaging 30 a game or anything like that. He's just he's just playing within the system. I mean, local mistake, they've got some some good players, man. They got a couple of good ones. So all right, guys, I'm signing out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace.